A collector requested two large framed Gisley prints of my fashion illustrations and since I never showed you how I frame my prints, I thought it would be fun to make this video. These prints are 60 by 80 centimeters and I had them printed by my printers where I usually get my Gisleys. I used to print my regular prints at home, but since I switched to Gisley prints only, I have them printed elsewhere. First up is cleaning the surface where you'll be framing your prints. I have a big desk where I'm also painting, so I make sure to cover it with paper before I start, just in case. My Gisleys always arrive in a plastic sheet. You could do the unwrapping step by wearing gloves, but I just wash my hands before touching the prints. Remember to touch it as little as possible. So what is a Gisley print? It's a print with the highest quality and printed on archival paper. I use Hanamula paper in Photorec. That means the colors are highly pigmented and will last a lifetime before fading. This is also the reason why Gisleys are a lot more expensive than regular prints. They're really a collector's item and are often signed and numbered, which is what I do too. I sign them with pencil, but there are also archival pens available. This collector wanted to print frames in a white mat, which is what I would always recommend with prints, since they keep distance between the print and the glass. I ordered the mat with the frame, so I first check if it fits. I then place the mat with the correct measurements of the white border all around the print. This is a quite tedious thing to do, and remember to again not touch the print or the mat too much. So this is a step you'll have to do a couple of times before you get used to it, so I'd recommend trying it on something less important like a printer paper. I'm using crepe tape, but even better would be acid-free matte tape. You're gonna tape it above, and since it's such a large print, I also tape it on the bottom. The paper could sag after some years, and that means removing the tape from the bottom to let it hang. At my framers, they only tape it at the top, but I don't like the shadow it creates at such a big scale. Now that we're done here, we can prepare the frame. Honestly, next time, if it's such a big print, I'll let the framers do it, because it ended up costing me quite some time. But in case you wanna do it yourself, I'm gonna show you what I did. I start by removing the backboard of the frame and carefully remove the paper that's inside. Since this glass was custom cut, there's already acid-free paper in there, which you should use between the backing and the mat. I remove it carefully to avoid as much dust on the glass as I can, since dust is going to be your enemy. One thing I wish I had that I didn't have at this moment is a can of air under pressure, which will remove all the dust to the side of your frame. Carefully grab your prints and mat and place it in the frame. Take care to not damage the corners. Then place the acid-free paper on top of that after removing it off its dust. If you're lucky, your first try is gonna be dust-free and you're done here. I wasn't. <laughs> Since the mat is pure white, dust is very easy to see, so the first easy method to remove it is to get a clean cloth, preferably microfiber, and remove the dust where you can see it. Also where I'd recommend, again, if you have the option, let this be done by framers. I sort of forgot the hassle and went ahead to do it myself, but next time I'm letting a framer do it. I always forget how much time good framing costs and how worth it it is, and it really takes your art to the next level. If the glass is dust free, you can return the backing board and fasten all the clips. Sometimes I close a few and check again if there is some dust. I just lift the frame a little, check, see gravity do its thing, and then I put it down again to fasten fully. A nice thing I'd like to add in the future, and I just forgot this time, is a sticker on the back with the name of the print, the year, and a signature. The last thing you should do is clean the glass of your fingerprints with either a dry cloth or a damp cloth, and your frame print is done. Super happy with how this turned out, even though it was a huge hassle. This is also the first time I framed my work in museum glass, which means it's way less reflective, and I don't think I can ever move back to regular glass now.